I really want to thank a new friend of mine yeah, for playing her set before me. Did you guys enjoy Skelly? Yeah! yeah! Go check her out on all of the services, all the places where you buy and stream music. Show her some love, alright? She's a great person. She's great. Woo! Woo! I wrote this song two years ago for a friend that was at a deep low in his life. Maybe one of the worst times that he's ever had. And so I lent him this song as a support system and sort of a lifeline because he needed it. And I hope from time to time when you've had a bad day or a bad night, you've gone home, and poured yourself a drink, and put this record on, and it's helped you too. I think one of the coolest things about getting older sort of gaining a wise perspective in how life works, in which I mean it's constantly ups and downs, right? And it's so hard living in that chaos, but I'm a firm believer that wherever there's a bad day, there are so many more good ones coming after me. And I need to say too, in LA, I really hope you listen to this one. This is important here. As we're living in a society and a culture that measures success based upon the number next to your name on your phone screen, I call some serious fucking bullshit on that. <laughs> Don't think you are lesser than someone because the number of likes they have, the number of followers they have, the number of views they have, the number of people that are talking about them at any given moment. Because validation in social media and on your phone screen is empty. Focus on what you love, focus on loving yourself, loving your friends, loving your family, and waking up every day and finding a silver lining because life is too goddamn short. Can I teach you a part to sing along with this next song? Yeah. So it goes like this. Good is gold. Yeah. You are good is gold. You think you can do that on it?
day, but run for the ride. We can run and far away and stay in the heat of July. Oh, tonight.
year I fell in love for the first time. And I thought that I had met the right guy. And I thought that we were maybe going to get married, adopt a few kids together, and sort of coast off into the sunset, you know? And I had never felt that for anyone before. I never felt that love. And in the same way, I never felt that hurt when he told me he didn't want to be with me anymore, you know? And I, I wrote through it, and I put a lot of it into this record, into portraits. It's the only way I know how to get through life as a songwriter and as a human being. And I just want to say thank you for buying a ticket tonight, for supporting this album, because... Right here, and I'm more determined than ever to keep on making music and playing these shows until I die. So I hope you'll stick around.